Lane Tesla University. My name is Conrad Lane. What do you do if you're stranded in the middle of nowhere? Absolutely beautiful out here though. I love traveling in a Tesla. What do you do? Because if your battery dies, for those that don't know, you'll be stuck in your car. You can't even let yourself out. Follow me into my Tesla. I'm with the black Model 3. I'm gonna actually show you how to do that. And I am not stranded. I have more than enough power, but I'm still gonna show you. Doing it. Stay tuned, follow video through. Lane Tesla University. My name is Conrad Lane. I own multiple Teslas. I own a Tesla Model 3. I own also a Tesla Model Y. And I'm currently in my Tesla Model 3 that's black. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to teach you a valuable trick on how to get out of a pickle if your battery dies. Da da dum. That's the worst. What do you do if your battery dies? This is what you do. Highly, highly recommend. First and foremost, when you're in your car, I'm currently at a Tesla supercharged station. Let's flip this around. I'm currently charging right now. What you do not know is Tesla's come with two batteries, a low a voltage battery and a high voltage, voltage battery. In cars, there's a 12 voltage battery that's powered by the alternator that's typically at 14.1 to 14 that fuels the battery that's uh, the low voltage battery in a regular car that's usually 12.1 voltage or higher sometimes. Same with the Tesla. There's a high voltage, voltage battery that powers, it works as the alternator to power the 12 voltage battery. So what you wanna essentially do is if your battery's on 0%, you typically have some miles, anywhere from approximately five to 10 miles I've seen, but it could, it could change and vary, vary based on what type of, uh, how your driving pattern, etc. But most importantly, you typically have mileage after the 0% march. You don't wanna to get to that point though, but if you do, Maybe on a long trip. I've driven all the way from San Francisco to Los Angeles and Los Angeles to San Francisco, Sacramento. I travel quite a bit in Tesla. It can be done. You just have to plan out accordingly. How do you recommend charging when you're at 50% battery? A lot of people wait till they get to the last part. Does he really want to stretch it out? Big mistake. What if you get to the Tesla uh, supercharger and someone's at the supercharger station or is, or all of them broken or what if they're uh, over, if it's over capacity, whether it's a long line, don't put yourself in that position. Charge at 50%. At most, we get down to 30%, 25%. I'll say start looking for a supercharger They're all over the place. They're popping up all over the place, which is great. But enough of me talking and ranting. How you get up? Let me flip this around. He's right here. You're going to be locked in your car. You might not have been aware of that. So to get yourself out of the car. Now, my car is not dead. It's charging here. But if it was then there's no part a part at all zero percent and a car completely cut off you actually are locked inside the car you can't get out so the way to get out this little lever here on the model three right here it's right there you pull that open that's also on the model y as well and most teslas have it in the same area look for this lower lever even if the power is dead you save yourself now you won't suffocate after that immediately call Wrote Tesla roadside service if you have it. Some people have it. If you don't have it, you want to make sure you have a AAA because you're going to want to tow yourself to a Tesla service center. The reason why this is very important is because what you might not have been aware of for those that have never been in a situation or if you haven't studied the owner manual, when you actually have, since you have two batteries, the high voltage one, when that dies, your car completely cuts off. When you get to zero, you're running off pretty much the last of your low voltage 12 volt battery and it's draining the rest of the power and your high voltage battery, which is why you still essentially have miles. First and foremost, this could damage your battery. You don't want to do this. Second, as soon as your last bit of power leaves your high voltage, which is basically essentially the alternator of the Tesla, you're done. You're going to be stuck on the road uh, in the middle of nowhere. Done. So at that point, even if you got your car towed, say you have AAA or roadside service or your insurance policy and they have roadside and they tow you to a Tesla service um, to supercharger or any charger, you cannot charge because what essentially happens is it can only it only charge the 12 volts, but it won't charge the high voltage. So it's not enough power to even turn the car on. So you're done. What you have to do is you have to get your car towed to a Tesla service center and they can actually bring it back to life. Oftentimes they can do this for free. Sometimes they might charge you a fee. If you're in warranty, it can, like if it's a newer car, if you're still in warranty, you might be able to get this for free, but it might be costing you a fee of typically around $195 to about $200. Might be higher by the time you watch this, but you don't wanna put yourself in that position. You also could damage your battery. Just people listen, charge at 50%. If you really wanna push it, 30, 25 to 30% battery capacity once it's been drained and charge. That's about it. Welcome to Lane Tesla University. Just wanna share how to get yourself out of pickle. If you're traveling, I travel a lot all over the States in a Tesla and it can be done. 
but you got to do it the right way. Like, subscribe, share, Carlin out. Peace.